Okay, this is the ProSonus unit. 48 kilohertz, measured on a frequency counter that's calibrated. I've got word clock coming down this line into a properly terminated T junction. Therefore, there are no reflections or missed terminations. The presonus has been set into looking for word clock coming in through the BNC connector. You can see that it's actually flashing as if to say I'm expecting sync. However, here on the display and over on the Mac, right, are strange indications. Well, okay, what we'll do is we'll connect this into the PreSonus's sync input, complying with the 75 ohm termination. The sync light comes on steady and now my assistant will stop the camera and play out from the Mac. There's no indication on, on any of the PreSonus outputs. Also down the end, no indication at all of anything coming out. Come down here to the PreSonus. You've got this static display here. The sync lights on. I pull the sync out. Flashes as if it's detecting sync. I put the 48 kilohertz word clock back in again. This time the flashing stops. All these things are variable with this device. I'll try it again, take it out. It's flashing. Put the sync back in again. It stops flashing. So we don't know what this is doing. We'll switch it off. Switch it on again. Sync still connected. It's come back in the, almost the same state. There's no sync light, no sync lights at all. This is one of the phenomena with this. Okay, you can see here that we're now trying to sync to ADAT. In other words, we want our Fire Studio light pipe to sync to incoming ADAP. To come over here, all we've got is a firewire light on. Now I'm going to reboot it in front of you. Turn it off, wait a couple of seconds, restart. Firewire light flashed a bit. It's come up in a strange mode. We've got correct uh, ADAC inputs to it and high quality connectors which we've used with an RME installation and it works perfectly. Okay, well I'll try it again. And then I'll ask my assistant to change various modes on the universal control panel. But it seems quite apparent that it doesn't reliably want to detect any of the sinks that are demanded. And this is one of the faults that we found with it. The other thing is, is that when we turned it off the last test, um, when I disconnected the BNC connector, we then got other strange sink indications. So it's come back up again. There's no sink lights running. I'll ask my assistant to just film, put, try to put it in different sink modes, and then she'll whip back to this machine if it actually changes any of the displays. Make it master. Okay, it's master. There was flashing indications here. I'm gonna switch it off. I'm gonna switch it back on again. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to reboot the Mac. Nothing's happening. As you can see on the Mac, there's some funny displays going on, but there's no sound coming out the power amps through the desk.
Right, we're in normal mode now. And master. You can hear on the monitors music coming out, and you can hear and you can see strange displays on the on the Mac. Coming over here to the um, ProSonus, ProSonus, whatever it is, you've got the same erratic displays that you can see on the Mac. But you'll note that there's no other indications on the BNC or ADAT for sync. So what we'll do is we'll cut now, we'll reboot the system, and we'll try and make ADAT the sync source. Well, we've set the Mac Universal Control Interface to have Lightpipe ADAT 1 as a clock source. The safe mode, whatever that means, is in normal. Sample rate is 48 kilohertz because that's the only sample rate we use here. There's music playing, there's no indications on here. If you come over to the machine, you haven't got the ADAT light up, you've got the Firewire light up, and you've got this pretty strange static display on here. So, overall, I think the problem with this PreSonus unit is they've got something wrong with the way they extract clock from any of the inputs and the drivers don't seem to be properly talking to this box. One of the main complaints about this box is that you can't look at the firmware level that you've got in there. It just tells you in the universal control interface that the firmware is up to date. It doesn't actually tell you the revision that it's up to date. There's no diagnostic access to this unit. Around the back there's no master reset button and basically I think this product has come to market too soon and doesn't work at all and a lot of other people share this opinion. So my challenge to the people who make this at PreSonus is you send me one of these and I'll make a video of it working perfectly and then I'll apologise for making this video. But at the moment, as it stands, this is going back to your UK supplier and I'm very angry about this because this is, seems to be part of the cause. Too many products are being rushed to market and that's it.